The other day I was watching this video from Anima performing the lights in one of these huge parties with this huge beautiful screen with these crazy visuals and there was this typical anima sound really cool song really cool sound i'll put a link in the description to this video and i thought is there a way to make this kind of sound and this kind of vibe just using the syntax and after playing around a little with the syntax i ended up with this one So let's go and see how I made this pattern and see how to make melodic techno sounds just using the syntax. Let's go. All right, the first thing I want to show you is this kind of gated synth sound. And we start with a track, I don't know, number eight. And we want to go to Swarm. I love this one, it's very melodic techno y. And this will do. Let's add an octave. And I'm gonna show you a cool trick. Uh, we wanna have the decay at infinite. And also the release at infinite. So that it goes like this. And we are gonna go to the effects track. So this one took me a bit to wrap my head around it, but now that I know how it works, it's actually super cool and it unlocks a lot of sound design possibilities. So we want to turn off in the trig page everything but the amp trigger because we're gonna do like a volume gate. How this works is that whenever one of these toggles is active, it will trigger the LFO, the filter or the amp trigger whenever there is a trigger in the sequencer of the FX track. Yes, the effect track it doesn't only have all this stuff like uh, static, meaning that if you route one of the tracks into the effect block is going to affect it statically, but you can also affect it dynamically using these triggers and the sequencer. A simple example, let's go back to track number eight and put a trigger at the beginning so that we have this infinite sound. What we want to do is we want to go to routing by pressing FX, funk and FX, and we want to route track number eight. Uh, so now we know that this is going into the effects block. And to verify that, we can see that the filter in the effects block is affecting this track. But if I do, like if I take track number seven, for instance, put a trig here, and have something like this. If I go in the effects blocks, since it's, since it's not routed inside it, it will not affect it. What happens if we put a trigger here? Whenever this sequencer track now is active, it's gonna encounter a trigger, it's gonna uh, trigger the amp. So the amp now is just doing this, but what we wanna do is go to ADSR and have like a gate kind of thing, something like this. And look how cool it is if I do this now on my infinite running sound. Let's remove this, we don't need it. This is here, go back into effects. Nice, huh? And to obtain this anima style, what we wanna do is have Actually, let's make directly a pattern that has 64 bit. And then what is going to happen at the third bar is that this is going to go down. So, check now. Silence. Because there are no triggers and the amp trigger is not triggered in the effects block. Okay, the first step is done. Let's go back to the actual sound and add a little LFO on the synth tune. We want to have like one bar. Get in there, but what I found cool is to use this one, 
this one, the so LFO, and we want to have it exactly at zero. Okay. It's too fast as you can see because it restarts or it encountered this, so we're just gonna reduce the speed a bit. The last thing we want to do is to have it on trigger mode so that it's only happening ooh, it's only happening whenever the, the, a trigger is encountered. And there is this little square here that tells you that it's, it's triggered exactly at zero. So this is going to go like do 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 And if you tune the speed and the multiplier so that it's slow enough, then we're going to have what we want, what we're looking for. Now you hear it restarting because I didn't remove the triggers that were already copied, right? In all this one. To make it a bit more similar to anima style, uh, we want the LFO to actually start triggering here. Because in the first bar, it's actually just going a little bit up in tune and then it starts the, the descent. So what we want to do is to put another trigger in the second bar, have it affected by the LFO, and actually go back to the first page and remove the effect of the LFO in the first bar. So we put it exactly at zero, which is a bit challenging because for some reason you cannot uh, zero. So now it's going to sound like this and in the second bar it's going to start to descend. So what we can do now is to go in the sync page and for the first trigger of our sequence we can do a little live automation. Maybe a bit better. Right, this is kind of cool. We can add, of course, some kilos of reverb. And maybe we want to route the reverb as well. So that it gets width, but it doesn't clutter a horn. sound. Okay, so this was the first sound that we wanted to make and then we move on to the bass. So for the bass I like oh, this one which is bits because it has this detune one that it really helps with the width, stereo width. And we don't want this uh, noise modulation, we want to go a bit down in octave and have something like a square wave, right? Filter it a little. With a bit of... Something like this. Mm. Distortion. And then a classic anima pattern, which is the following. Or melodic techno kind of bass line. And together with our sound, it sounds like this. Let's push it down an octave. Maybe two. Little delay. Okay, base is done. Let's go to our hi hat. We can start with this, put a bunch 
of triggers and then adjust sound. Right, now we need a offbeat I hat. We use the noise for that. That's DK. missing the king of electronic music a big fat kick so this 808 is cool but it's a bit too long right when you put the punch on it starts distorting i don't like it something like this but we want it like a bit more deep. a bit bypasses this muting, I don't know why. But yeah, then all together this is what we get. what you can do is that you can copy the page of the synth to one the gated one and paste it here so now we duplicated this sound and you can layer it with another one like tone is nice for instance and of course now it's not being routed to the effects block, uh, but we can do a bit of sound design first here. Yeah, I can add like this is gonna be very punchy. Let's see what we get if we route number four now into the effects block.
love the sync talk to whenever I find a sound that I like, more or less I'm able to remake it, but with a twist, with something like a bit different, a bit original. And there's so many possibilities to add your own stuff, to your own touch to a sound design that is inspired by another artist. And this brings me to the end of this video. If you liked it, please remember to like and subscribe and I will see you next time.